Hopefully everybody can see my screen. Yes, we can. Yeah. Um, yeah. My name is uh, Torgen Sambal. I'm working uh, in a company called Alphasoft. Uh, we have offices in Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and also in Germany and the UK. And uh, we are the Nordic distributor uh, of EndNote and uh, Reference Manager. Uh, so my intention for this presentation and demonstration is just to give you a brief overview of EndNote uh, and also uh, tell you a little bit about Reference Manager and the future. Uh, I don't know uh, if there are many Reference Manager users um, or if there are many that haven't used both EndNote or Reference Manager before. So I will just give a brief introduction to, to both. So, mm, where is my mouse there? Yeah, if you start with um, the user interface for these um, uh, tools, research tools. Uh, here, hopefully, you will see my screen. And here is uh, EndNote. This is EndNote X. Yes, you can. Yeah, great. This is EndNote X7, the latest version. And just to give you a brief overview, uh, the, in the mid of my screen is uh, all my references. So this is my reference list. Um, and these tools, both Reference Manager and EndNote, they are. In, in, in the core, they are database tools. So they are for storing and managing references. Um, so to insert a reference into my database or library, you could either enter it manually, go to references, new reference, and then I get an empty reference where I can fill out all the information. First, I type in the reference, or choose the reference type. As you can see, there are, there are man, many. Journal article, article is probably the most used. But you have book and data set and patents and everything here. Uh, and then I enter the author, like this. And this is also to give you a, you a tip if you're going to use uh, in the future. Um, because the author field is a little bit special in, in EndNote and also in Reference Manager. Uh, in EndNote, you enter each author, author per line. So when I enter the first author, I press the Enter key, and then the, uh, the next author if there are multiple authors here. And just to give you a tip, if the author is an organizational name, like Nova Nordisk, you enter it like that, and then just a comma at the end. No, no forename there. So it will not get formatted. Um, yeah, we just let's enter some data here. Like this. Then I just close the reference and it's stored in my, uh, in my library amongst the others. So that's one, one way of getting references. The most used probably today is to connect to an online database or library and then just do a search and uh, import them directly to, to EndNote. Uh, you can do this either through the browser, going to, for example, pubmed.com. <clears throat> And do your search uh, here, and then send to Citation Manager, create file, and save it on your uh, computer. If I use other browser, it will go directly. But this time, I just save it, double click it, and here's my references inside my, my library. Or you can do this directly from EndNote. And there's really, this is different from Reference Manager. You have two modes or modes here. One, the middle uh, mode, I, I ex uh, import references to a temporary library. 
then I choose here in EndNote which one I want to be transferred to my main library. Or this mode on the right, mode button. If I now do a search, everything gets uh, imported directly to my library. And we can, we can do a test. In EndNote, I just click or choose the online library I want to connect to, like PubMed here. Then I choose my search criteria. I can do the same as I did in the browser. Click the search button. <clears throat> Normally it doesn't take this long. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Let's try. Let's try this again. Ah, there it came directly. So as you can see, it's the same number of results. I can take the five first. Click OK. Please note that it's 50 references in my, my main library now. When I do this, do the import. It's 55. So as I said, in this mode, everything gets directly into my, my library. While in this mode, if you do a broad search, uh, you probably would like to use this mode. Then it's into a temporary library, and then I can choose and pick from the references before they get transferred to my, uh, my library. Um, yeah, so, so this is uh, EndNote. The main window with my main references, window, the group panel on the, on the left, and then we have the reference data the panel data here for panel for, the for the reference I choose. Reference we also have a preview we window have a preview to window. see how this looks in the ARPA 60 uh, style. Sorry, I can choose another style and see how it looks. Uh, and EndNote also have a uh, integrated uh, PDF reader where I can view my attached full text articles and also annotate them if I like. Let's jump to Reference Manager and look at the differences. Here's Reference Manager. It's much the same as you can see in the, in the main window uh, on the bottom here. Here is all my references. And when I click a reference, the reference data get listed on the, on the top. Uh, I can actually also have the preview window by going to tools, options, and choose opted style instead. Click OK. Then I, I have a look at how it looks in, uh, in a bibliography, for example. So you have the preview window here too, but it's a little bit more. Uh, more clicks to, to get it. Um, yeah, and as you can see, there's not a group window. We don't have the uh, PDF view uh, reader either. So, but other than from that, it's it's much the, much the same. I also like when you have more than one uh, database open in Reference Manager, they get uh, listed like tabs like this. Uh, they don't do it in, in EndNote, they just uh, stack um, upon each other. So you can either minimize or you can use the window here to choose which uh, uh, library you want to use. But usually you just work with one uh, library, so this is okay, I guess. Uh, if I jump back to the presentation, yeah, we have a word also show you that. So here's Word 2013 for Windows. Uh, and as you can see, I have when you have installed Reference Manager or EndNote, you get an extra tab with all the features uh, from, from these tools inside the Word. And this is probably why um, EndNote and Reference Manager is so popular amongst uh, researchers. It's so easy to, to format your uh, scientific article in the, the style you want. So just to demonstrate this, if I click the insert citation button, well, I can, I can just write here is a sentence with 
two reference. Like this. Then I click the insert citation button. Do a search. I just do a search for AC everything. And I can use that one and this one. Click insert. And there you go. There's my uh, two references, citations, and my bibliography generated for me. And as you can, see, as you saw, it just happened in a, a brief second uh, the format. Uh, and the really neat thing about this is that now I'm using APA6. I send in the article. Uh, I get refused. I try another uh, magazine or journal. And they use another style, and instead of using days just formatting uh, the citations and bibliography, I just click this style menu and choose the, the other. Um, for example, if I want to use Harvard, I just click Harvard here, and my whole document gets uh, reformatted in a new style in just a second. Like this. So we save a lot of time uh, with these tools. Um, and also here a tip for, for the users of MNOF or Reference Manager. Just remember, I see this a lot, I'm, I'm doing support and training for, for MNOF. Uh, don't, these are active uh, uh, fields uh, connected to, to the MNOF library. So don't write anything uh, inside here like this. Uh, the best that happens is that it just disappears when Enoch updates the document. The worst that can happen is that the whole document gets corrupted. So always when you want to change a new citation or change anything inside the text citation, click it and use the edit and manage citation. Here you have all the options for removing, inserting a page, um, pages or, or any text uh, pre or after the, uh, the citation. So if I wanted to remove the rest, I go here, click the edit references and remove citation, click OK, and it's removed from the text and also from the video. Never, never do any editing inside here. They are linked to the library, active links. Um, yeah, and we also have, as you can see, have reference manager. If I change that to reference manager, you can see it's much the same. It's the same uh, feature and functions here, but EndNote have a few, a few more. One of the most, uh, the newest one is the categorized references. Uh, in more and more articles, you are. Um, you are to have uh, the regular license, no, the regular references in in the, the main bibliography, and then for online citations, you have a, a separate bibliography for online citations. So then you can use this new feature for, for this. So you actually get two or more uh, bibliographies in the same document. But other than that, they, they are pretty much the same. Uh, as you can see, so it's, it's it's much the same using. Uh, if you've been using Reference Manager, you should uh, shouldn't be up and running with uh, Android in Word uh, in a few seconds. I guess. Um, if I go back, yeah, and then we have the differences between Reference Manager and Android. And the most. Um, the biggest uh, difference is probably uh, the sharing of databases and libraries. Uh, with Reference Manager, you can save your library <coughs> uh, in a shared network and then share it amongst your colleagues. And then everybody can open the database and edit it um, with, without any, any problems. This is not a feature you can with, with EndNote. I mean, they have solved it with, with other ways, as I can show them. The other um, differences is global terms merge. Uh, this is these two points here is is really uh, minor functions. But I've seen seen uh, reference user um, 
asking for this. Global Terms Manager is, for example, if I have uh, used the keywords math and mathematic, mathematics uh, as keywords in my reference database, uh, then when I search for math, I would like to have the mathematics keywords also show up as the results. And this is possible in, uh, in my reference manager. You can have a global terms merge. So the math and mathematics keywords mean the same for the search results. Uh, in and not you can do, do a global find and replace so you, you will probably change math the math keyword to mathematics so they are the same but that's the only uh, workaround for this reference manager also have a recommend web publisher this means that you can publish your uh, database as a as a web service uh, to others so others without reference manager I uh, can go to your web page and do a search in your database. But this is getting quite old. So I'm not sure it will work for new service. service. But uh, I have tried it on our machines here and it works okay in the local network. <clears throat> uh, then we have Ennot. Uh, as you saw, Ennot have groups the group panel here, where I can create group sets and, and, and groups. So you, really you can make your main library into sub-libraries. So you don't have to have many libraries, you can have all in one and just group them in sets and, and groups like this. Um, it's, it's really a time saver also. And there are also many advanced functions uh, to this group uh, panel in, in Android. And as you can see, Android creates automatically groups for me. When I imported and created a group, so I can go back to that and see which references I imported the last. And also when I insert a reference into my document, it create, automatically creates a group so I can see which references are cited in the Word document I have active in. And you also have groups for the the most used uh, online uh, databases. Um, yeah, and, and this is also very good. Uh, it's PDF management and indexing. So if I have a reference in my library, I just click this uh, attach file button. You can also do it from references, file attachments, attach file here, it's the same. Um, and I have my PDF document here. You just attach it like this. You could also click hold and drag it into your reference. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, in my panel on my right, I have the viewer. I can also open it in full screen and view my, uh, my full text article. And here I can do uh, notations. Uh, here is a comment like this. I can also highlight, much the same as in uh, Adobe Acrobat Grid. So I'll finish, I just close it down and it's done. So. And what's, what's nice about this is that not, if, if the PDF is indexable, it's not an image, it's actual text, uh, index, uh, EndNote uh, indexes the text, so I can search what the content of the, uh, the uh, uh, PDF uh, by using the quick search or, or the regular search here. And as you can see, I can also search my, uh, my comments, annotations also. Uh, within and so it indexes and uh, and manages my PDFs for me. Um, yeah, more. Yeah, and not also have an and not online service uh, where you can uh, sync your library, have a backup, uh, and share also groups of references. So I can show show you this um, the service. My web.com You can also go to endnote.com and, and log in. So, endnote online is is an online service. So, if you don't have uh, endnote installed on your machine, you're working on another machine, you can always access your library 
uh, from a web browser. So as long as you have internet connection, you have access to your, your data. Um, and this really works uh, like a, a basic version of Emma. I can actually use this and download the uh, um, site while you write the uh, add-in for, for work and only use this, so that's okay. Um, and yeah, Brass must ask here, can you share it with anyone who don't have EndNote? And yes, you can. You can, uh, you can share groups of reference via EndNote online. So I can make a group either through my EndNote desktop or here, and then put some references into it, and then I can share the group uh, like this. So here's my groups, I'm sharing, and then I just enter the uh, email to the ones I want to share this with. And as you can see, you can also decide if it's read-only or read and write for, for this person. If you can edit it also. <clears throat> and what's nice is that I can also connect my local library to this. And every time I start EndNote and uh, close EndNote, it will sync uh, the changes to my uh, EndNote online account. Uh, so, if I work on my office and import some references, do some edits to my library, then close and go home and I want to work some more in the evening, I just open my EndNote at home and it will sync when, I, when it starts. So all the changes I did at work will also uh, be on my home uh, library. <clears throat> Yeah, and sharing. Yeah, uh, EndNote Online, you can share groups of references. And with the EndNote X7, the desktop version, I can share my whole library with others. But they, they need to have EndNote desktop, the EndNote X7. I just go to File, Share. And then I sh choose which one I want to share this library. And it's max uh, 15 person I can share my library to in this version. There will be more by some months, but uh, by now it's, it's max 15 person I can share my library. Then they will get my library uh, transferred to their, uh, their computer, and they can go to File, Open Share Library, and they will uh, be able to open uh, the library that we share with you. Um, yeah, and reference management is only for Windows, but EndNote is for Windows, Mac, iPad, and as you have seen, we also have EndNote Online for the web. And yeah, EndNote has been updated on an annual basis. Uh, so there's more styles, uh, fields, types, and, and functions as well seen, probably seen already. Um, and about that, uh, Reference Manager, it's uh, version uh, 12. There ha hasn't really happened uh, much with Reference Manager the latest uh, six or seven years. Uh, and I think the, the version 12 was only an update for, for compatibility with uh, Windows 2007, actually. So um, uh, it. It has uh, just uh, stopped the, the development. It hasn't happened much uh, in the last years. And, and this is quite important because two weeks ago we got a notice from Thomson Reuters, which is the producer of uh, both EndNote and Reference Manager. And they said they will be stop selling Reference Manager from 1st of 1st, 2016. So it's only... Uh, three months left uh, for buying Reference Manager. And I think that that says it, that says it all. It's the uh, end of life of Reference Manager. If you have Reference Manager, you can, of course, still continue to use it. But there will be no development. So. Uh, and I know the last week or two weeks ago, Office 2016 came out. And we are a bit unsure if Reference Manager will work on Office of Word 2016, and this summer there was uh, also for for the Mac. Uh, so 
right of now, not even end of works for 2016, but we are sure they are working very hard to get uh, the update so it will work for 2016. Uh, but we are not sure if this will happen for uh, for the reference manager. So be be noticed about that. Um, yeah, we, we have already seen this Hope to Share library and the desktop. You can share your whole library with 15 other users. And you can also use Anot Online uh, to share reference groups. And, and this was the difference between Reference Manager and, and EndNote. With Reference Manager, you could share your library on a local network. With EndNote, you can also, but then it's only read access. So if you, by Windows, set your library files to just be read privileges, then um, multiple people can open the library at the same time and, and read it and use it and do searches and, and stuff but nobody can edit it. So if a, if a user with uh, uh, write privileges open the uh, library, no one else can open it. So that's, that's the difference, the main difference between Reference Manager and Emma, so be aware of those. Then, if you are a Reference Manager user, uh, what the news, from me today, you probably are interested in how do I uh, jump from Reference Manager to, to EndNote. And I'm going to show you that. I'm just going to close down Reference Manager. This is a sample database I'm going to be using. Um, it's Actually, it's very easy uh, to, uh, to convert a, a Reference Manager database to, to EndNote. So if I jump to, to EndNote, I can close my library. Uh, it's, um, uh, I think it's one year ago, uh, they, uh, Thompson Reuters, the producer, made a feature in EndNote to convert. So actually you go to File, Open Library, and here's the main point. If you want to convert a reference man manager database, you got to choose, instead of EndNote libraries, you got to choose reference manager databases here. So that's that's the main thing to learn here. Remember that, and then the reference manager databases can be open in EndNote. So if I go here, go to, uh, let's try to find the sample database. Uh, database, here it is. I just click it. Open it and choose convert. If you have done any specialization or customization of your reference manager, you probably would like to click this first and choose which field go to which from reference manager go to which field in uh, in EndNote and also for the reference types. But usually, it's, it's not needed. It just pressing the convert key, choosing the name and location of your new database. And not database. Okay, I can choose sample here. And there you go. Here's my convert the, the reference manager database inside and not. Um, and while we are at uh, databases, um, EndNote, no, sorry, I can try to get my desktop up. For Reference Manager, a database uh, consists of uh, or contains two files, one RMD, the main file, and one RMX, the index file. For EndNote, there's a, a library file, ENL EndNote library, and a data file. You see they have the same name and they're always in the same folder. So if you want to copy or take a backup of your uh, library, remember to take both the file and the data folder. And when you when you attach a PDF or something, it it is inside this data folder, placed inside this data folder, everything. So that's converting a, a database, and there's actually also a feature to convert documents. So if you 
are working uh, with a document where you have inserted um, reference manager citation and use reference manager for citation. Um, I can I can try to uh, I use this sample database, so let's try to use that. And here's the sample. I close down this like this. If I go to I need a new document, so I take a new document. So here's my document. Here is a reference. And now I can use Reference Manager to insert a citation. I can take some, some more three citations. As you can see, it works much the same. <clears throat> I save it. Yeah, like this. And now I have converted the uh, sample database a reference manager uh, database to a note that was what I did just before. And now I want to convert this document to a note also. And then you have a function here, convert citation and bibliography. That's all. no, sorry, <laughs> I have to go to the end note here. Convert citation bibliography, convert reference manager citations to a note. What you must remember to do is you must have in EndNote, you must have the same converted database open when you do this. So I open the document, I open first the converted database in EndNote, then I open the, the Word document with reference manager citations, and then I choose this function, convert reference manager citations to EndNote. Uh, click OK. And there you go. Now my document is converted to an citation. I, I can um, write further in this document using EndNote as my citation. So hopefully that was uh, easy and, and fast uh, to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm a little bit uh, unsure about the time. Well, well, I can actually help you with that, uh, Torgren. Thank you very, very much. That's uh, just after five past uh, two. You've got approximately 10 minutes. And the reason for me wandering around now is that poor Torgren has not been able to hear anything that you have said or done because due to the um, audio stuff in here, there would be too much feedback if we could ask him questions directly using mics and things. So I have to uh, translate or shorten or just basically repeat any questions you have for Torgrin, and that's why I'm wandering around looking like an extra from a Star Trek movie with this Bluetooth thing in my ear. So uh, first of all, thank you very, very much indeed, Torgrin. Excellent presentation, very much enjoyed here. Uh, does anybody in the audience here have any questions concerning the EndNote or the Ref Manager. <clears throat> There's a gentleman here now. Let's let's see if you can ask the question and if Torgren can hear it as you ask it. Okay. So, so what would be the best way to have two persons that are working on the same document and then use EndNote? Uh, how would you merge those two? Did you hear Did you hear that question, Torgren? Uh, no, sorry. This is very. Basically, it's uh, what would be the best, best way uh, if there are two people working on the same document? What was it, EndNote? Using EndNote, uh, using EndNote and merging the, the two documents. Did you understand the question? Yeah, um, that's, that's always a problem. Um, if, if you use the same EndNote library, then it's okay. So my recommendation is to use the same uh, library. That goes for both Reference Manager and, and EndNote. Um, if you use two separate or different libraries, uh, then you have to merge the two libraries, and then also you have to do an unformat and update uh, to to update the document with a new library. That's that's actually the merged library. It's quite f it's it's it's, it's fast to do, but uh, yeah. You have to do the steps. There's a gentleman nodding his head. I think it's in agreement. 
Um, and are you happy with that answer? He seems to be Torgrin, so that's uh, that's good. Yeah, if uh, everything is perfect, anybody... perfect in a perfect world, you could just uh, merge the two, two documents and everything would be okay, really. But the problem, because EndNote has a traveling library, so it will have all the reference data in the Word document. But if something is wrong, you have deleted a reference or something, um, then you will have a problem. Uh, and that's why merging the two libraries and updating it before is, is probably the best solution. But Very in a perfect good. world, it's just to merge the two documents. Uh, so, yeah. Super, excellent, thank you for that. Um, does anybody else have a, a question? There's a, a lady here. I wasn't quite sure about this uh, the PDF, whether it uh, comes in automatically in EndNote or whether you have to sort of uh, attach it yourself via your save somewhere yeah. and attach it. Did, did you hear that question, Torben? Yeah, I think Rasmus also has a question here in the chat. Find reference updates if I could uh, demonstrate the, the feature. And I, I, can, I can do. Um, yeah, you, when you want to attach full text articles, uh, or you can. Really, you can attach anything like Word documents or text documents, uh, but PDF is the most used, of course. And EndNote has can index PDF documents, cannot index Word documents and other stuff. So that's why PDF is probably the best. And as I demonstrated, you can, if you have a reference, you can um, click this attach and, and just attach it, so download it from whatever source, and then attach it to to your document. The other way to do this is if I'm reading a PDF uh, like, like this. And at least modern PDF articles will have a DOI number, document object identifier. And usually this is on one of the first two pages. So let's, yeah, there it is. Here's the DOI number. I don't know if you can see this, but DOI. Um, so if I want this document inside my EndNote library, I can actually go to, just copy the DOI number, go to my EndNote library, choose new reference, and insert the DOI number here in the DOI field. And close and save. And then there's. I could also just enter the title and uh, and and author names, but then I have to write it exactly as it is in, in the online database. So the DOI number is unique and probably better. Then there's two features in Android, two new features. Uh, if I right click this empty. Reference. The only data here is the DOI number, as you can see. If I right-click it and choose Find, uh, find Reference Updates, uh, and it will search online for this DOI number and try to find the uh, the reference, corresponding reference data for it, all from names, the year, and title, etc. And as you can see, it, it found it here. So I just click Update Fields and Save Updates. And there you go. There's that's my reference with all the reference data. Then I could either attach the the document, yeah, the PDF. But you also have another new feature in EndNote. If I right click and choose Find Full Text, EndNote will search. You see it on in the group panel. Will search online for this PDF article, and if it finds it if it's open be 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 one that many of these you have to pay for then, then and not just find the url or to, the, to the journal but this is open and free and and found it and attach it for as you can see and when i click just click another reference and go up it will index it so now it's searchable also in my database okay did that uh, answer your question? Um, you've got another couple of minutes uh, 
Torgrin. Um, I know that Rasmus Nielsen from Novo Nordisk is actually on somewhere else. So do you have any questions, uh, Rasmus, that you would like to, to ask while you're on? And I assume yeah. that I'll get that yeah. message from Torgrin. Yeah, I have another question from uh, Ras Rasmus that just came in. He's asking, edit and manage citation functions, are they as easy in online as in desktop? Um, I'm, I'm assuming you, you, you're working in, in uh, Word now. And I'll just close this down. I, I don't use, uh, I, since I have the Ender Desktop, I'm, I'm using Ender Desktop. It has more advanced features uh, and is faster than Ender Online, which always need to be connected. But we can test this. Uh, I can change, now you see it says Ender X7 here. But if I go to preferences and application, you can choose if Ennot is to use your local library. Since I have Ennot installed on my local machine, I will be using that. But if I was on another machine, I could install the site while you write Ennot online tool. I will get the same ribbon in Word, but I don't need Ennot desktop. And then I choose Ennot online here as my application. So click OK. Click OK. And this is the same library. I have synced it. Uh, so this is uh, it connecting to the same library, but it's online. It's on a server in the US. Uh, and then you have this edit citation. So if I click this, click edit citation. Um, I think it's much the same, but I'm missing the format uh, feature. But other than that, it's uh, yeah, it's it's a little more basic as you can see. But you have these for entering prefix, suffix, and pages. Yeah, exclude author, exclude author. So it's it's a little bit more basic. You see, if I keep the planter here. Choose preferences and application desktop. Then click the reference and edit and manage citation. I have the formatting, which I didn't, so I have more options here. In the Anot Online, you just had exclude author and year. Here I have can display as this uh, this new modern way of doing it. Show only in Bibliography, exclude author and year. And also a little bit more features for your edit library reference, time reference updates, which are only for the desktop. So much the same, but a few more functions in the desktop when you're using the desktop connection. I hope that excellent. I'm, I'm sure. Answer. I'm sure it did, uh, Torgrin. Uh, thank you, Rasmus, for wherever you are in the in the country. Uh, thank you, Torgrin, so, so very much for uh, your um, very, very able presentation. This is the first time we've ever tried online. As I was about to say, uh, we will be putting um, Torgrin's presentation up on the Pharma Denmark website, so you can go in and see these. And now the, the question is, did you manage to record it, Torgrin, for us? I actually did. I had started it uh, many <laughs> minutes before. Time to very good. <laughs> so will judge very and good. Cut it and, uh, so, so yeah. the whole presentation, the visual um, video will be up on the website as well. So that's that. So while you probably won't be able to hear it, Torgrin, I'm going to ask everybody to join me in thanking you very much indeed, and uh, speak to you soon, Torgrin. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.